In Adobe InDesign, you can create a simple index in seconds by adding consistent space between your text. In InDesign, this is referred to as a right indent tab. Want to learn how to use them? Then check out this pro tip. So with the document open, once you have a text frame, you're going to need two parts of text. The first part is on the left and the second part is on the right. In this case, it's a burger name on the left and the price on the right. First, make sure you're in normal mode. If not, press W to toggle between normal and preview mode. For this, I recommend you come up to type, come down and make sure you can see your hidden characters. With it active, you will be able to see all the hidden characters. Now, hidden characters in Adobe InDesign are non-printing symbols that represent formatting elements in your text, such as spaces, paragraph breaks, tabs, and line breaks. These characters are essential for understanding the structure and flow of your text, but are invisible by default when working in a document. So right now, we can see there is a paragraph break at the end of each line. And in between the burger name and the price, we can see a dot, which represents a space. Once you have your text ready, place your mouse cursor where you want to place a gap. I'll select the space here between the words, come up to type, down to insert special character, down to other, and click on right indent tab. Upon click, you will now place space between your text and you will see text on the left and the next piece of text on the right. Once you insert a right indent, you will now see this symbol, which represents the right indent. Now it's just a case of selecting the right indent you just placed in, press Command plus C on Mac or Control plus C on PC to copy. Place your mouse cursor into the next place. Here I'll select the space between and paste. Keep in mind, you can also use the keyboard shortcut, Shift plus Tab. Do this as many times as you like and soon you will have an index or menu. Nice. Now the great thing about this is if you press escape to deselect the text, you can increase or decrease the width of your text frame and the space between will respond. Excellent. So that's how you can add right indents to place space between your words to create indexes and menus. For more pro and design tips and tricks, check out the channel and be sure to like and subscribe for more. Until next time, unleash your creativity and I'll see you in the next one.